Hi everyone, it's Liam here from BiggerPlate.com, joining you today from the beautiful city of Cape Town, South Africa, and answering mind mapping questions from our global member community. Today, I want to share a very practical tip for Mind Manager users who want to add images, diagrams, and graphics into their mind maps without these coming to dominate or distract in the document. I'm going to show you how a simple but powerful little feature in Mind Manager can help you include all the images you need in your mind maps without getting crowded out by them. So, let's take a look. Okay, so here we are looking at a mind manager map. This is just a demonstration mind map for the purposes of this video. Now let's say down here in this mind mapping section, we wanted to add in some imagery to help uh, illustrate our point around the benefits of mind mapping. Well, we've got some member feedback uh, from a survey a few years ago that we then can include a little graphic to uh, illustrate our point. So normally what you do is you'd come up and say insert and then we'd say an image. And I've hopefully got my images ready for me on my desktop here, there we go. And you're hopefully gonna see pretty quickly the problem that I wanna try and help you solve today. So when we add that graphic in there, this could be a bar chart, a pie chart, a, a diagram of a, a geographical map, it could be anything, but the problem is it, it can be quite big and quite uh, sort of dominant in the space compared to everything else. So what I like to do in Mind Manager is use a great little feature that I think is probably not that well known about. If I click onto the image itself, I've got options obviously to, to resize it uh, like this, which is helpful. But actually what I prefer to do is keep it at its full size, sometimes even make it bigger, and then come up here to the image menu, click that drop down and say convert to thumbnail image. And what that does, just as the menu item suggests, is converts that graphic into a little thumbnail image. And you see it's shrunk it down for me, but it gives me this little magnifying glass that says, whenever you're ready, you can click that and it's going to open a full size graphic. Now, this is just a word cloud, but if you imagine, as I said earlier, this could be very uh, in-depth data, charts, graphs, all these kind of things where you need to see it at a decent size. And that's why this thumbnail is very useful because you can clip the image at a big size like this, now taking up most of my my screen by the way you can also resize that once it's open but importantly in the mind map it's not dominating the space behind so you see it's it's just there it's ready for me but it's not on the surface level so just to give you another example of that you know we might say down here uh, we've got our little tips for mind mapping a little four step uh, sort of prompt we might say once again say insert the image grab the graphic we want there. Again, it's not too big, it's not too dominant, but I would still right click on the image, just a different route to the same option. Let's come down here to the image menu. Once again, say convert to thumbnail, and you'll see we've now got two decent sized images ready to pop open from our mind map whenever we choose. And as I said earlier, we could even resize uh, this particular image to make it a bit bigger for when we're ready to talk about that piece. Finally, somebody might say, for example, what about sort of photos uh, that you might want to include in a, in a mind map for whatever reason? And the answer is the same same rules apply. So let's go one more time up here to the imagery. Let's insert this image of a uh, very ugly dog, uh, but I do love her. Um, and you'll see, again, this is a very, very big image. So this takes up a lot of space in our mind map, and we don't want to have that uh, face staring at us and dominating quite so much. So once again, we can right click on that if we want to click image, convert to thumbnail. And we've now got three really good, helpful images, or maybe two good ones and one ugly dog, uh, in the mind map, ready to use whenever we want. And we can just pop open those images as and when we need, just using that little magnifying glass uh, icon. So there you have it, a really simple way to include useful graphics and images in your mind maps without hopefully getting overwhelmed or cluttered out by them. I hope you found this video useful. For more resources to help you go further with mind mapping, visit biggerplate.com.